better opportunity here in Thailand. So I'm very happy. I and European Union delegations, ASEAN University. At present, Myanmar is taking the, the duties and responsibility also at the, yeah, We are involved in the development of the education sector, mostly in the higher education. So, networking and coordinating for the education developments and also promoting to the international collaboration, cooperation and also student mobility and also credit transfer system. The project has been doing a lot of uh, aspects of development in higher education. For example, uh, scholarship for student mobility and the quality assurance, as well as involving high-level officials for the policy dialogue as well, which we think that this is a very good way of uh, connecting the region. One point or one question or one concern really over the next two years is uh, going to focus on building the sustainability of the different result um, strands so far. That means embedding the credit transfer system across the ASEAN region, building more and more opportunities for young people to access opportunities to travel across the region to build their understanding, but also to enhance their professional qualifications and, and further um, employment opportunities as a result. We not only get to experience um, studying our courses in another country, but then we also um, really grow as individuals culturally and um, working towards one another in um, consolidating or in identifying ourselves with ASEAN. QA, QF, I'm already quality assurance, frameworks. It was uh, amazing for me uh, to spend the last four years working on this program and now the program will be uh, extended. I hope the result will be exactly what people are expecting for. The mobility scene is to really have that mainstreamed and aligned within ASEAN still. Uh, activity yesterday afternoon and it's the opportunity for each. Well, for the last day and a half we've worked very hard with ASEAN member states, um, institutions and other stakeholders um, to try and develop a vision for um, SHARE Open and how SHARE can support over the next two year extension. It's been very positive and we look forward to getting some really strong outcomes from this meeting that will help us to deliver and support the development of this higher education space um, in the next two years. Secretary General of ASEAN, His Excellency Dato Lim Jok Hoi, Ambassador of the European Union to ASEAN, His Excellency Ambassador Igor Drusmans, Chair Team Leader, Mr. Jared McDermott, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. My name is Uni Prayuti, Program Manager of SHARE's Program Management Office. Welcome to the official launch of SHARE Program Extension Phase. Today, we are witnessing the resumption of the SHARE program for the next two years. SHARE is the European Union's flagship higher education initiative with ASEAN. It is implemented by a consortium comprising the British Council, the AAD, INQUA, and NAFIC. Before we proceed, I would like to kindly inform you that this official launch event is being recorded. Without further ado, Please join me to welcome His Excellency Dato Dim Jokhoi to grace today's launch with his remarks. Excellency, the floor is yours. Uh, Excellency Igor Darsman, Ambassador of the European Union to ASEAN. Excellency Committee of Permanent Representative, 
to ASEAN, uh, Excellency Ambassadors, representative of the AS European Union's member state to ASEAN, and the chairperson of ASEAN senior official meeting on education, and distinguished guests, good afternoon. I'm pleased to join you today at the virtual launch of the program's extension of the European Union support to higher education in ASEAN region, EU share. This two year extension is testament to the EU EU steadfast support towards ASEAN community building efforts, particularly in enhancing the quality, regional competitiveness, and internationalization of higher education in the region. ASEAN's long-standing cooperation with the EU continues to advance across all pillars of cooperation, including in addressing the COVID-19 pandemic. We are very pleased to note the elevation of the ASEAN-EU Dialogue Partnership to a strategic partnership on the 23rd ASEAN-EU Ministerial Meeting in December last year. A strategic partners, we appreciate the EU continued support in strengthening ASEAN integration and enhancing people-to-people -people context between the two sides through various programs such as ERAS Plus, eReady, as well as EU Share, where we have worked closely together in, an, in enabling greater harmonizations of ASEAN higher education to support regional students' mobility across the region as one of our shared priorities. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, ASEAN is home to more than 7,000 universities with approximately 12 million students. This presents a great opportunity for the, for the currently 223 million people between the age of 15 to 35 years of age in the Southeast Asia, which constitute a third of the region's collective population. Investing in the development of our youth and strengthening on education system is key to developing an inclusive, sustainable, resilient, and then dy dynamic future. The ASEAN leader recognized this with the adoption of the Kuala Lumpur Declaration on Higher Education. The declaration acknowledged higher education is one of the key catalysts in accelerating ASEAN's agenda. The leaders also call for the ASEAN to build an innovative driven community through a capacity building offer by higher education institutions within the region, such as opportunity for lifelong learning, technical and vocational education, postgrad studies, as well as other flexible learning options. Since the launch in 2015, the EU Share Programme has supported ASEAN in fostering a knowledge-based society to increase mobility and improve equality of opportunity for university students. The program has brought together National Education Department, University, Quality Assurance Agency, and studenting to engage in policy dialogue on the harmonization of higher education. The program has also enabled students and staff in the education sector to pursue further studies through scholarship, workshop, and training hosted by both ASEAN and the EU. In light of these remarkable accomplishments, I'm pleased to note that additional funding of Euro 5 million has been granted by the EU 
to advance internationalization of higher education in the region. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the ASEAN Work Programme on Education 2021-2025 outlines our key priority in the region in strengthening the ed education sector for the next five years. The EU share programs extension will support the implementation of this work plan, especially in continuing the progress made in establishing a common higher education space in the region. I'm pleased that this extension will also focus in transferring the ownership of the program's outcome to ASEAN entities and nominated organization to be embedded within the ASEAN-led processes. My congratulations also to the ASEAN senior official in the education sector, as well as the EU share team for their efforts in securing this very important milestone. I look forward to the successful implementation of the program extension. Allow me to close by thanking, by thanking the, the share consortium comprising of the British Council, the DAAD, ENQA, and NAFIC for the support to this program. My gratitude as well as to the EU for their contribution in enabling people to people link and knowledge transfer in ASEAN as well as in the EU. Thank you very much for your attention. We thank His Excellency Dr. Lim Jok Hoi for his remarks and for providing us with an ASEAN perspective of the significance of the SHARE program. We would like now to invite the European Union Ambassador to ASEAN, His Excellency Ambassador Igor Drismans to share with us his remarks. Excellency, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. His uh, Excellency, uh, Mr. Lim Jok Hoi, Secretary General of ASEAN, uh, Excellencies, Ambassadors of the Committee of Permanent Represent uh, Representatives, Officials representing the ASEAN Country Coordinator for ASEAN EU Relations, Education, Youth and Sport Divisions of the ASEAN Secretariat and other divisions in ASIC, ASEAN Senior Officials Meeting on Education, ASEAN Organizations Focusing on Higher Education, Mr. Uh, Darren McDermott, team leader of SHARE, the SHARE program and EU ASEAN visibility team members. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the launch event of the extension of the EU support to higher education in ASEAN region or the SHARE program. SHARE is the EU's flagship in the field of higher education within ASEAN and has been in operation since 2015 in addition to the Erasmus program. I'm pleased to announce that the program will be extended until the end of 2022. European Union has committed an initial budget of 5 million euro for the share extension besides the initial funding of 10 million euro to support harmonization and internationalization of ASEAN higher education. The extension period will support ASEAN higher education institutions and stakeholders to create a sustainable ASEAN higher education space drawing lessons from the European experience of the Erasmus program and the Bologna process. We will support the establishment of an ASEAN broad scholarship scheme, similar to the Erasmus scholarship in Europe. This period will also see an increase of intra-ASEAN student mobility. Some 300 students will benefit from new intra-ASEAN scholarships by the end of 2022. The SHARE program will work closely with ASEAN stakeholders in delivering the objectives of the third ASEAN Education Work Plan 2021 2025 for the duration of this extension. The announcement we make today is part and parcel of the ever growing partnership between the European Union and ASEAN. Just four months ago, at the 23rd ASEAN EU ministerial meeting in December 2020, the EU and ASEAN opened a new chapter in our long standing relationship by becoming strategic partners. Together, we share a commitment to implement the 2030 Agenda and its Sustainable Development Goals, as well as the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. These global commitments are also an integral part 
of both the EU and ASEAN regional integration processes, helping to ensure a sustainable and people-centered approach, which leaves no one behind. This year, the EU and ASEAN celebrate their 44th year of partnership. The EU has put human development, in particular education, at the heart of our partnership. We would like to ensure youth and women are not only included, but also empowered. I'm delighted to see that ASEAN has similarly put people at the core of its comprehensive recovery framework, focusing notably on skills, education, and gender equality, testifying to our common interests and objectives at regional level. The EU and ASEAN can notably build on their strong and successful co uh, cooperation on soft connectivity, which support regulatory and policy frameworks to enable trade policy dialogues to strengthen links between citizens, businesses, and institutions, and strengthening people-to-people -people exchanges. The EU SHARE program contributes to people-to-people -to -people connectivity between these two very diverse regions. Higher education and students have always been an important element in our relationship because they play an essential part in the future of our two regions. So our best wishes to the SHARE program team members for the implementation of the program during this extension period. Sincerest thanks also to our country coordinator, to the education, youth and sport divisions of the ASEAN Secretariat and other divisions in ASEC, to ASEAN senior officials meeting on education, to ASEAN organizations focusing on uh, higher education, uh, and last but not least to the uh, Secretary General for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador, for your insights on how European Union and ASEAN are working together to improve the higher education sector in the region. Before we proceed to the next speaker, I would like to inform our attendees that if you have any questions, Please drop your questions at the Q&A chat box down below and we'll try to respond. We will try to respond through email. Please mention your name, your institution and email address along with your question. It is time now to hear more about the SHARE program itself and the key actions the program will deliver in this extension phase. I would like to hand over the floor to Mr. Darren McDermott, the team leader of the SHARE program. Darren, please. Many thanks, Uni. Uh, Your Excellency, Secretary General of the ASEAN Secretariat, Dato Lim Jok Hoi. Your Excellency, EU Ambassador to ASEAN, Igor Driesmans. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My apologies. I just needed to check that I wasn't on mute. Uh, today, I'd like to provide some insights into the SHARE program, the EU's flagship higher education initiative with ASEAN, which has been running since 2015 and has just been extended until the end of 2022. I'd also like to highlight some of the innovations we'll be implementing with ASEAN stakeholders in the extension to contribute to the development of an ASEAN higher education space. Next slide, please. SHARE is the largest higher education cooperation program uh, between the EU and, and ASEAN. Uh, SHARE's overarching objective is to strengthen regional cooperation, enhance the quality, competitiveness, and internationalization of ASEAN higher education. And the SHARE extension is implemented by a consortium comprised of the British Council, the DAA Day, or German Academic Exchange Organization, NOFIC, the Netherlands International Education Agency and ENQA, the European Association for Quality Assurance in Higher Education. SHARE's approach to supporting regional higher education is inclusive, and the program engages with ASEAN and relevant non-ASEAN entities to build on existing initiatives and to serve as a platform for engagement with the wider higher education community in the region. SHARE designs and implements its activities across three result areas. They are as follows policy dialogues with regional stakeholders, ASEAN qualifications frameworks and quality assurance, and credit bearing intra-ASEAN student mobility scholarships. Next slide, please. So result area one, policy dialogue is a platform and a forum to share experience, generate debate and influence policy changes. Policy dialogue engages all share result areas and ASEAN stakeholders to affect change in the ASEAN higher education landscape. 
Result Area 2 fosters ASEAN European exchange of experiences and best practice design, development, and implementation of ASEAN qualifications reference and quality assurance frameworks. These results feed into regional policy dialogue to ensure cohesion with other result areas. Next slide, please. Result Area 3, a credit transfer system, or CTS, facilitates student mobility and aligns it with their learning journey on their academic program. SHARE has developed a platform facilitating credit transfer, transfer rather, for SHARE scholarship awardees. The SHARE ASEAN European credit transfer system is also designed to be compatible with the European credit transfer system, or ECTS. The SHARE Intra-ASEAN Student Mobility Scholarship demonstrates the progress of regional mobility architecture in SHARE's other key results are, result areas. There are currently 32 participating ASEAN universities across eight ASEAN member states within the SHARE Scholarship Network. Next slide, please. So since 2015, uh, there have been a number of achievements by the SHARE program. Coinciding with ASEAN's 50th anniversary, SHARE received endorsement by the 10 ASEAN heads of state at their meeting in Manila in November 2017. Since 2015, SHARE has held 11 policy dialogues to foster engagement between key stakeholders of regional organizations, institutions, and students on the development of an ASEAN higher education space. And more than 550 scholarships have been awarded to ASEAN students to pursue their studies abroad. The ASEAN Quality Assurance Network was recognized as an ASEAN entity very recently. And in the course of the last five years, SHARE has supported the second ASEAN work plan on education 2016 to 2020. The program is fully committed to supporting the implementation of the upcoming third ASEAN education work plan 2021 to 2025 for the duration of its extension. In addition, the SHARE extension provides ongoing support to the following ASEAN priorities. The Kuala Lumpur Declaration on Higher Education and its Plan of Action 2016 to 2025, the ASEAN Sociocultural Community Blueprint 2025, the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity or MPAC 2025, and the Initiative for ASEAN Integration. Next slide, please. The SHARE extension will see continued work with the ASEAN higher education community towards the development of an ASEAN higher education space. More inclusive policy dialogues will ensure greater collaboration, cohesion, and momentum towards enhancing quality, harmonization, and internationalization. Augmenting trust in the quality of ASEAN higher education provision is a key aspect of SHARE. In this regard, the qualifications and quality assurance frameworks serve as essential tools in facilitating the recognition of degrees and supporting higher education systems amidst the challenges now and to come. SHARE will continue its support for the ASEAN Qualifications Reference Framework by further embedding the concept of outcome-based education in the field of quality assurance. And SHARE will extend its cooperation with the ASEAN Quality Assurance Network, or ACAM. The focus of result area three activities in the SHARE extension is the further development and digital transformation of the current SHARE Intra-ASEAN Student Credit Mobility Scholarship Program between the 32 institutions in the SHARE Partner University Network. And this will transform into a sustainable ASEAN-owned, operated and branded scholarship program. Next slide, please. The formalization of communities of practice across ASEAN covering the key dimensions and commitments of the Kuala Lumpur Declaration and the new ASEAN work plan on education will ensure greater collaboration, cohesion and momentum towards the, the goal of a sustainable ASEAN higher education space. This will be a core modality in the two-year extension of SHARE and will provide a structure for targeted capacity building initiatives. As the world contends with COVID-19, the SHARE program is in a strong position to leverage its expertise and network to provide evidence-based capacity building to the ASEAN higher education community. The expansion of digital credentials and facilitation of their international recognition through digital transformation of the AECTS is another innovation that will be explored during the SHARE extension. 
A feasibility study is planned for the development of an online training course on outcome-based education, which is to eventually be hosted and maintained by an ASEAN-based entity. Additionally, SHARE will conduct a master plan on ASEAN connectivity study on the potential influence of student mobility periods on graduate employability in ASEAN. Mobility of students between ASEAN member states is still somewhat hampered by emergency measures in response to COVID-19. While physical mobility remains central to the ethos of the SHARE program as a modality of internationalization, the current context sees significant potential for the SHARE extension to leverage the consortium's expertise in blended learning modalities of internationalization, such as virtual exchange and collaborative online international learning. The SHARE extension will engage concertedly with the ASEAN Secretariat and ASEAN stakeholders to identify ASEAN entities equipped to take ownership and management of a sustainably funded ASEAN branded scholarship ecosystem. This will allow for a transfer of ownership from SHARE within the period of the SHARE extension. Next slide, please. The collaborative spirit that is so evident between the EU and ASEAN and is the lifeblood of trust and transparency between our two higher education systems and indeed shares work. Uh, we could not achieve our objectives without the willingness of practitioners from both regions to convene and yes, share their knowledge and experience. It is the vision of the SHARE program consortium that over the course of the next 20 months, we can be a catalyst for ASEAN's ownership and sustainability of a collaborative, accessible, accessible and inclusive and resilient ASEAN higher education space. I'd like to thank you for your kind attention and we really look forward to working with you over the coming two years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Darren, for sharing what SHARE program is and what, how it will uh, work during its extension phase. In conclusion, this extension phase will serve as an important step in ensuring feasibility, scalability, and sustainability of the program's outcomes. To mark the official commencement of the SHARE program extension phase, I would like to call the following to join the photo session together with his Excellency Dr. Lim Jokhoi, Ambassador Igor Drismans, and Darren by turning on their videos. Hugh Moffat, Chair, Senior Responsible Officer, the British Council. Right. And then uh, Michelle Khoury, Head of Division, Strategic Planning, DAAD, who is joining from Bonn. Good morning. And we also have uh, Maria Kello, Share Program Director, Inqua, who is joining from Brussels. Good morning. And uh, Peter Pontois, Share Program Director, Nofik. Okay, right. We have everyone on screen now. And on three, we will have a, a, our photographer will click the camera on our. Uh, screen on three one two three right thank you so much so with that we have now come to the end of today's launch if any of the attendees have further questions about share program please feel free to get in touch uh, with us or visit our website let me thank again our distinguished speakers and participants for joining today's program. We look forward to working with all of you to make the shared extension a success. Stay safe and have a good day, everyone. Thailand, so I'm very happy. I've been high education.
delegation and European Union delegations, ASEAN University. At present, Myanmar is taking the, the duties and responsibility also at the, yeah, We are involved in the development of the education sector, mostly in the higher education. So, networking and coordinating for the education developments and also promoting to the international collaboration, cooperation and also student mobility and also credit transfer system. The project has been doing a lot of uh, aspect of development in higher education. For example, uh, scholarship for student mobility and the quality assurance as well as involving high-level officials for the policy dialogue as well, which we think that this is a very good way of uh, connecting the region. One point or one question or one concern really over the next two years is uh, going to focus on building the sustainability of the different result um, strands so far. That means embedding the credit transfer system across the ASEAN region, building more and more opportunities for young people to access opportunities to travel across the region to build their understanding, but also to enhance their professional qualifications and, and further um, employment opportunities as a result. We not only get to experience um, studying our courses in another country, but then we also um, really grow as individuals culturally and um, working towards one another in um, consolidating or in identifying ourselves with ASEAN. QA, QF, I'm already quality assurance, frameworks. It was uh, amazing for me uh, to spend the last four years working on this program and now the program will be uh, extended. I hope the result will be exactly what people are expecting for. The mobility scene is to really have that mainstreamed and aligned within ASEAN still. Uh, activity yesterday afternoon and it's the opportunity for each. Well, for the last day and a half we've worked very hard with ASEAN member states, um, institutions and other stakeholders um, to try and develop a vision for um, SHARE and how SHARE can support over the next two year extension. It's been very positive and we look forward to getting some really strong outcomes from this meeting that will help us to deliver and support the development of this higher education space um, in the next two years. Yeah. Thank you.